A year ago, Mom left to get presents and went missing. Dad was overcome with sadness and started working twice as much. I just try to remember the old days. Mom bought me the snow globe for my first Christmas, and I always put it under the Christmas tree. The snow globe will lead you to me, Inga. Please find me. Waking up from a good rest feels great, but not when I find myself looking so awful. I should be clean and at least decorated with a Christmas wreath. Will you help me?
Wonderful! Now that I'm looking festive, you may pass. What a nice girl!
Hello. Who are you? And why are you wandering the woods alone? The Christmas celebration hasn't begun yet. My name's Inga, and I'm looking for my mother. She went missing last Christmas. Maybe you've seen her here in the woods? I'm sorry, child. I haven't seen your mother. I could help you, but my magical staff is drained. I'm not feeling well, and I can't charge it myself. If you help me charge it, perhaps I can help you find your mother. But first, let me tell you a very important story. Each year, Father Christmas scatters presents in our forest, and the main Christmas tree is decorated in the magical glade. On this night, Magic surrounds that place. The clock has already struck midnight, and Christmas magic fills the air. I can't get to the glade myself because of my poor health. I have a deer, but I don't have any sleigh to travel in.
My staff gives me magical powers, and I could use it to search for your mother. To make it work, I need special lights. You can collect them with a magical lantern. Here, take it. Now you're ready for your journey. Once you arrive, collect the magical lights in this lantern. They'll help you charge my staff. With it, I'll find your mother in a snap.
<laughs> Tricking you was almost too easy. Let's get reacquainted, shall we? I'm Grilla, and I think Christmas is a waste. It and all other seasons have no place in my world. I simply must do away with them. You'll never see your mother again. Thanks to you, my staff is powerful. Now nothing can stop me. You'll be my first victim. <laughs> no! White swans? They stopped her! Yeah. <laughs>
Inga, I'm so glad you made it. My brothers arrived just in time to save you. But Grilla hurt them. They'll need your help. As a child, Grilla was my apprentice. She was extremely gifted, but her mind became consumed by evil thoughts. That's when she turned against me. She cursed my brothers and took my staff. I can't do magic without it, so I can only lift the curse by knitting three nettle shirts. Unfortunately, Grilla's goblins broke into my greenhouse this morning and spoiled my bed of nettles. Please, help me fix them. Thank you. You're such a kind girl. The only thing left to do is make the nettle shirts for my brothers. Oh, I can't wait to see them again.
Grilla looked so happy as a child. It seems like she was friends with Winter's brothers. But then something bad happened to Grilla. She looked in the mirror and thought she was ugly, so she didn't play with Winter's brothers anymore. She was so convinced that no one loved her, so she took Winter's staff and went to live in the woods. She felt lonely and used everything that Winter taught her to destroy Christmas. That way, everyone would be as unhappy as she was.
I sent a message to Grandfather Christmas. He's waiting for you and can help you find your mother. It wasn't the shirts that saved my brothers, but your courage. We couldn't have done it without you. It's time for you to go to Grandfather Christmas. My magic sleigh will take you to him in no time. <laughs> oh, you're no match for me. And you, you foolish girl, will never see your mother again.
Hello, Inga. If you managed to make it here, you must be incredibly brave. A year ago, Grilla stole my heart. Without it, I can't make nice toys for the world. I'm afraid I can't help you find and save your mother without my powers. It's up to you. If I only knew why darkness took over Grilla's mind. I'm sorry.
I see it! There's my mom! Mom! I'm here! I found you! Oh no! Now I understand. Grilla can't appreciate her inner beauty. I believe that deep down, she still has a kind heart. We just need to help her see it. Once we fix this mirror, she'll be able to see her beautiful soul. Please, find my heart. With my powers returned, we can try to save Grilla and your mother.
thank you for bringing back my heart. I feel the Christmas spirit slowly returning to me. This is the last piece we need to restore the magic mirror. Bring me the complete mirror when you're ready. Then we'll go save Christmas for everyone. Save your mother, but Gorilla's magic is too powerful. Fools! I can't believe you actually came here. Christmas is already ruined for the Lennon Hall. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Forgive you, Grilla. And that was the end of my journey. I saved Grandfather Christmas, and he saved my mother. All of Leyland Hall's gifts were fixed. came to every household. Now, Grilla helps Grandfather Christmas make presents and puts her heart into each and every one. And our family is finally whole again, which is truly the best Christmas gift I could ever receive. Present. Okay, dears. But don't break it before we make it home. <sighs> oh no. Did you see that? What happened to my son's present? My daughter's present turned out to be fake, too. Oh, they're so upset. They got those presents from a cat who looked like Santa Cat. But now I suspect there was something off about him. Could you help us, please?
Thank you. This warm milk will make my kittens feel much better. Did you see him? Was I right? He doesn't look like the real Santa Cat. I also found these on the town square. Maybe they'll be useful. Thank you so much. You're a very kind girl. My children are so happy. I don't know how I can repay you, but hopefully this little potion of good health will serve you well. Hello. I don't know who that was, but they stormed right past me. I didn't see where they went. Luckily, that box didn't break. Want to help those poor kittens and find out who's giving out fake presents? You have a very kind heart. There's a kind sorceress named Grilla who lives nearby. I'm sure she'll be happy to help you.
Hello, dear. I don't know where that fake Santa cat came from. I definitely didn't send anyone to spoil Christmas for kittens. However, I'm sure I offended quite a few animals when I was evil. If you find the punishment list I made back then, I can tell you who the fake Santa cat might be.
I see. Oh, that must be Willie. I took his milk fang so he would never have an ear for music. I'm so sorry. Please, I'd be so grateful if you'd return his fang to him and tell him how sorry I am. He must be hiding in Mouse Village with his friends. Unfortunately, I'm too big to go there. But I have faith in you. Good luck.
Presents for kittens. I'm sorry. I hid the real presents and made fake ones. I didn't get the Christmas present I've been dreaming of. 
so I decided to make all the kittens feel like I did. I found Chivi and Kiwi's whiskers at Grilla's. They must have done something, so she punished them. I took their whiskers, so they wouldn't get an ear for music and leave me. Here, you can return their whiskers to them. I just wish I could get my milk fang back and be able to play music. <laughs>